Hi, I'm Jeff, and this Did You Know is brought to you by the Center for Teaching and Learning. Today we are going to talk briefly about establishing a Canvas course for the purposes of displaying your syllabus and posting grades in a face-to-face -face class. Every course you teach should have an empty Canvas shell prior to the start of the semester in which you teach. The empty shell likely has more tools than you need to deliver the course in a face-to-face -face format, so we'll set up the home page of the course to be the syllabus tool, and then we'll disable any other navigation tab except for the grades tab as you and your students will use that to post and read grades earned as the course progresses. The first step is to set the home page or the home tab to be the syllabus tool. So to do that I'm going to click on choose home page and at the bottom of the list we choose syllabus and then save. And now this is the syllabus tool as the home page. This is where the students will land when they access the course for the first time. Since the home tab of the course is essentially the syllabus tool, we can now disable anything else except for the grades. So to do that, I'm going to click on the settings tab on the left hand, and then the navigation tab across the top here, and anything that we don't need, we're going to disable. And we can do that by either dragging them down to the list here below, or by clicking on this little gear icon and choose Disable. And I'm going to continue to do that for the rest of these, except for the grades, because we'll need that for the students to see their grades. I'm going to speed this up for the purposes of saving time in this recording. Now that that's done, scroll down to the bottom of the list of all the disabled tabs and we'll hit the Save button. All the disabled tabs will show up as grayed out, meaning that they aren't available to the students. Now we'll post the syllabus document that you hand out in class to be the thing that the students will see right away. I'm going to go ahead and click on Home. And this area up here is the syllabus description. We're going to click on the Edit button, and then put the cursor right here at the start, and then over on the Insert Content area, I'm going to click on the Files tab, and then I'm going to upload a new file. I'm going to browse where my file lives on my computer. In this case, it's going to be on my desktop. There it is. Click on Open. And then I'm going to click on Upload. The link to the document and the document file are now in the course. So what I'm going to do as a courtesy to the students to make it easier for them to see and access the syllabus is I'm going to make it auto inline preview. To do that I'm going to place the cursor somewhere inside the link to this area and then click on this chain link and I can click on where it says Auto Open the Inline Preview for this link and then update the link button right here. Last thing to do is to update the syllabus description by clicking Update Syllabus. And then in about 10 seconds or less, the syllabus document will auto preview and render right inside the Canvas area right here. So the students will see the syllabus document right away. If they want to download the syllabus document and print it off, they would click here. But otherwise, if they just want to read it, this is where they can do that. They don't have to download it if they don't want to. To be able to post grades for your student, you will need to have use of the Assignments tab. It's grayed out here because it's disabled to the student, but you can still access it. I'm going to click on Assignments. Every published assignment in this area shows up as a grade column for you and your students. So to quickly add an assignment, I'm going to click on this plus button. I'm going to say week one assignment as an example. Ideally, I'd like to choose a deadline of when this is supposed to be done, and the uh, point value of this is going to be 50, and the key is to hit save and publish. If I just hit save, it's not going to show up as a grade column in the gradebook. Now that that's done, when we come back to the home page, 
We will see it in the course summary below. Students will have a quick view of what's coming and what's left to do in the course. One benefit of the syllabus tool is that any assignment that's published shows up in the course summary. Therefore, your syllabus document need not have the assignment schedule in it and just be relegated to be the course contact information for you or the uh, policies and procedures in the course. And then from semester to semester, Canvas can manage the deadlines and you won't have to manage that in your syllabus document anymore unless you want to. Now this is the student view of the home page. Notice how when the student clicks on grades, they only see their grades as they earn them. For you in the instructor role, when you click on the grades tab, you will see a list of all of the students in the course and be able to enter their grades as necessary. I hope this Did You Know has been super helpful and that we'll see you in the Center for Teaching and Learning soon.